It is clear that each of the three stages of procreation represents an epoch in the development of the world. The pattern for the procession was foreknown almost as something already observed. Telepathy. If you haven't found something strange during the day, it hasn't been much of a day. The cosmogonic cycle is presented with astonishing consistency in the sacred writings of all the continents, and it gives to the adventure of the hero a new and interesting turn. For now, it appears that the perilous journey was a labor not of attainment, but of reattainment, not of discovery, but rediscovery. With these developments, suddenly chance and probability were being introduced right into the heart of physics, which previously had given us precise predictions and detailed trajectories of particles, from planets to comets to cannonballs. This uncertainty was finally codified by Heisenberg when he proposed the uncertainty principle, that is, the concept that you cannot know both the exact velocity and the position of an electron at the same time, nor can you know its exact energy, measured over a given amount of time. At the quantum level, all the basic laws of common sense are violated. Electrons can disappear and reappear elsewhere, and electrons can be many places at the same time. The shape shift. Mythology has been interpreted by the modern intellect in various ways by Fraser as a primitive, fumbling effort to explain the world of nature, by Muller as a production of poetical fantasy in prehistoric times, misunderstood by succeeding ages, by Durkheim as a repository of allegorical instruction to shape the individual to his group. Jung saw it as a group dream, symptomatic of archetypal urges within the depths of the human psyche. The godfather of helped to start the revolution in 1905, and Schrodinger, who gave us the wave equation, were horrified by the introduction of chance into fundamental physics. Mythology is all of The various judgments are determined by the viewpoints of the judges. Or when scrutinized in terms not of what it is, how it functions, of how it has served humankind in the past, of how it may serve today. Mythology shows itself to be as amenable as life itself to the obsessions and the requirements of the individual, the race, the age. Teleportation. How wonderful that we have met with paradigms. Now we have some hope of making progress. The created form of the individual must dissolve, so that of the universe also. When it is known that after the lapse of a hundred thousand years, the cycle is to be renewed, by combining these two technologies, one can then determine a person's emotional reaction as he scans a picture, all without his permission. It is clear that each of the three stages of procreation represents an epoch in the development of the world. The pattern for the procession was foreknown almost as something already observed. 